Now let me just go ahead and show something, uh, give a quick example that my guards are armed. Let's go ahead and spawn in some attacking pits. Okay, we'll just spawn in a random attacking pit. I'm going to stand right here. Spawn the pit in. And look at the pit. As you can see, the pit just got shot up by my bodyguards. And that is my bodyguard armed to the T. And as you can see, after they shoot and kill whatever threat, they will go back to their post. <laughs> I love it. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo schemes and graphics we are making a building with another gta 5 mod tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing the luxury home defense script all right this right here is going to give us a lot of uh, bodyguards unlimited amount of bodyguards that we can put around a house or any type of property like that all right so this one right here is created by a viver shout out to the creator when you get down to this download page you want to always read the full description there's a lot of important information here as well as the requirements after you're done reading the description come up here where it says current and select the green arrow to download now let's jump into the requirements as stated before it's right here inside of the description we are going to need lemon ui um, and scriptbookv.net. okay uh, we will not be installing the requirements although i will still leave a link to those requirements in the description and there will be videos showing you how to install lemon ui and scriptbookv.net if you don't have those already all right so make sure that you have your requirements installed and once you have your luxury home defense downloaded, it should look something like this on my left hand side. I have one download, which is luxury home defense. And then on my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. I have all of my requirements installed and ready to go. What we want to do now is open up our scripts folder. Now, after opening our scripts folder, let's go over to our downloads where we had our luxury home defense folder. Open that up. Inside that folder is going to have two files. I'm going to highlight both files. Drag and drop them over here to our scripts folder. I already have it as you can see. After that has been dragged and dropped, we can minimize any other windows we might have open and run the game. All right, now that we have spawned in the game, I just want to show you my property I have right here that I have already placed some security with. Now, this security I placed um, a few days ago. But um, every time you turn on the game, your security will be right here. And if you turn on the game and they're not there, just go ahead and press the reload key to reload the scripts that's in the game. Now, as you can see right here, I only placed about uh, three security guards. I got a security guard right here. Just regular. I didn't, you know, dress them up and, you know, nothing fancy. Just, you know, uh, default outfit. And I have another security guard right there. And I got another one right here. Now, they are all armed. They even have a car. You could even uh, give your security guards a car, I guess. <laughs> so that's a car right there that I gave them. Now, let me just go ahead and show something, uh, give a quick example that my guards are armed. Let's go ahead and spawn in some attacking pits. Okay, we'll just spawn in a random attacking pit. I'm going to stand right here. Spawn the pit in. And look at the pit. As you can see, the pit just got shot up by my bodyguards. And that is my bodyguard armed to the T. And as you can see, after they shoot and kill whatever threat, they will go back to their post. <laughs> I love it. So, now that we have seen that example of the bodyguards, let's go ahead and go to a different property and place some new bodyguards. All right, so we are here at uh, Franklin's house. Okay, let's go ahead and park this inside. All right, we'll lock that up in there for right now. So the first thing that we want to do is press uh, this little, I think it's called the tight, tight key. It's a little key. I will show you on the screen right now. It's that key right there on the keyboard. What you want to do is press the shift key first and then press that key. Okay, so press shift and that key. And it's going to open up this cheat code box right here. All right. 
inside the cheat code box you want to type in customize all right customize once you type in customize you're going to see this uh menu pop up it's going to be saying home defense and it's going to give you the option to create a bodyguard so once you select create bodyguard after you select that the screen will fade out and fade back in and then you will have this screen in front of you where you get to choose your clothing for your character as you can see you have the options to choose the mask hair torso legs shoes accessories undershirt tops hats and then um, accept the clothing when you're done all right so uh, we'll choose something random all right, so we have our outfit right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put accept clothing. I'm gonna go ahead and select accept clothing. And once I uh, do that, as you can see, we are back here. Now we want to spawn in our bodyguard. We're gonna hold down shift and press that key, and it's gonna open up the cheat code. Now we want to press spawner. We want to type in spawner. All right. Let me just get my character stood up. Once you type in spawner, this menu is going to pop up at the top left. And you're going to have the option to um, go into the bodyguard spawner or spawn a vehicle. So let's go into bodyguard spawner. And then here we get to set our bodyguard armor. I'm going to set it at the highest, which is 500. And uh, bodyguard health, set it at the highest, which is 400. Um, you can set it however you want to set it. Then you could also choose your bodyguard rifle, assault rifle, special compact you got all the rifles right here and then you can go down and also choose a pistol for your bodyguard as well after you're done making uh, your decisions come down here and select spawn a bodyguard now when you select spawn a bodyguard i'm using a controller right now so if you want your bodyguard to be in a certain position like say like this guy is facing behind us all right so if we if we want to uh get him to change directions we just have to turn ourselves around so as you can see when franklin turns around the bodyguard turns around all right so if you want him to be uh posted like let's put run right over here by the door for example okay we'll put him right here uh yep about right there screw it over all right now if i want him to face forward then i just gotta face him and then when i'm done picking uh this um when i'm done picking the location that i want to place my uh bodyguard at if you look in the top left it's going to give you instructions i want to press to spawn the pit go ahead and press that button and as you can see we have our pit spawn now all of these um bodyguards they cost money as you can see in the top right corner it just said that it cost me about fifteen hundred dollars i believe just to place one bodyguard now if we want to spawn another bodyguard we can go ahead and select spawn a bodyguard and we'll do the same thing we did with the other one all right we'll pick a location that we want to place them at have them face them whichever way we want them to face and place them right there all right you also got uh let's see this spawn another one right up here probably outside here there we go all right that's pretty cool that position right there all right so when you're done with the menu go ahead and press uh, the exit button or backspace button and you could also spawn in a vehicle all right let's go ahead and select spawn a vehicle the first option we have is the vehicle colors we could choose blue red uh purple whatever color you want um i'll choose matte gray for right now and uh vehicle window tint you could give it window tint if you like and right here you could pick your car okay now you also could use your add-on cars if you want as well um see like for um example if you wanted to uh, use a add-on vehicle, you will select custom vehicle model. You will select that. Then you will go ahead and type in that vehicle. Okay, so I have a add. I have I have an add-on vehicle that's called Buva. I'm going to type that in. Buva. Press enter. And now, when I want to spawn that vehicle, just select spawn a vehicle. And now you should see that add-on vehicle that you just typed in. So this is one of my add-on vehicles. 
and they can drive it as well all right you can change the color adjust the color like i said before now if you want to cancel this then you just want to press um, you want to follow the directions in the top left of the screen i'm using the controller so i'm going to press the left trigger left trigger will cancel that and then i could go back and pick a different car and also after you have typed in a um, add-on car inside of the custom vehicle model and you decide that you don't want that car um, you're gonna have to click back into it and then make sure that it's empty and then press enter again if you read the description it says leave empty if you don't want if invalid it spawns other vehicle okay so now you can go ahead and choose what other vehicle you want up here um, let's choose something that we know is a vehicle uh, like an adder okay we'll choose the adder spawn vehicle and as you can see we have our adder right here and we can spawn the adder like a little bit over here next to him there we go and now they have their own vehicle all right and I can still get in my garage too so when you're done with this go ahead and press the exit button as well all right now all of our bodyguards are set let's go ahead and test them out by spawning in a random attacking pit wow oh wow oh get him oh wow oh okay I would have thought y'all got him a little sooner. <laughs> oh, and he got ran over. Wow. <laughs> Good going. All right. So, um, if you wanted to um, open the bodyguard menu, just walk over to the bodyguard. As you can see, you will have a circle around them. And uh, press the buttons that are in the top left of the screen. I'm using the controller, so I'm going to press right on the D-pad. And that is going to open up the bodyguard orders. So, I can order the bodyguard to escort. Make him escort me. Um, make them attack a pit um, and clear task right here as well all right when you run the game one time with this script installed it's going to create a home defense configuration settings file all right that file is going to be um, it's going to be consisting of the pits the bodyguards that you have spawned at uh, whatever locations around the map and um, you can go ahead and um, modify some things if you want. It's not too much to modify, uh, but that is being created in your scripts folder as well. It's called Home Defense Configuration Settings, all right? And as of my knowledge right now, um, if you wanted to delete a pad, I would suggest going into your Home Defense Configuration Settings file and uh, finding that pad or that bodyguard and just erasing it out of there, okay? Because as of this moment, I don't see any key to delete any uh, bodyguards or whatnot so I would definitely go inside that configuration setting that it created It's called home defense and then you can remove the bodyguards from there all right so we're gonna go ahead and end this tutorial right here man but if this helped y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5 y'all it's games graphics me and a uh, big bowling ass Frank we are out of here till next time I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.